rear naked choke in MMA usually starts from the mount. I'm unloading on my opponent. He doesn't have anywhere to go, so he turns his back. I put both of my legs in, flatten him out, and get my arm underneath his chin. From there, I grab my shoulder. My other hand grabs the other shoulder, and I squeeze until he taps. The guillotine usually happens when my opponent tries to take me down. So Manny shoots in, his head goes past my hip, my arm goes underneath his chin and I grab the bottom of my hand. Now what I do is I pull his head down with my armpit and lift my hand until he taps. The heel hook is a submission that comes from controlling my opponent's legs. What happens is I have Manny's feet, I step in, sit down and step over. Now from here I look back and put the blade of my forearm underneath his heel. Now it's called a heel hook, but the pressure's really on the knee as I turn his leg. I pull it toward me and look at it. The guy on top may be punching me, but he needs to stay careful and here's why. Manny's on top of me, but I control his left arm with my hand. Then my foot goes on the hip and I twist, bite down, the right leg goes over his head and now it's my whole body against his elbow joint. As this goes towards the ceiling and I pull it down, he has no choice but to tap. The guy on top has to be very careful with his punches, and the triangle choke is why. As Manny reaches back to punch me, my leg shoots past his head and pulls him down. Now my left leg hooks my foot and pulls his head down. Now all I have to do is put my hips toward the ceiling and pull on Manny's head. No blood goes to the brain. He has no choice but to tap. And finally the Kimura. That comes from my opponent having his hand on the mat. I control Manny's wrists, lean over his elbow, and grab my own wrist. From here, I scoop my hips out and bring his fist toward his spine. And this puts a lot of pressure on his shoulder. As I lift it up, he has no choice but to tap. Nicely done, Jimmy Smith. <laughs> Six and one is a pro MMA fighter. Both guys are good strikers. Bows the better wrestler is going to be better on top. And here they are. Oh, back to the feet. Well, a lot of redness around the left eye of Bow Quatch. I think he took a bad shot to the eye. There's a big right hand on the inside by Quatch. Oh, big kick head to kick. the face. That by Karahani. And Karahani now looking for a quick head. We knew this would be explosive, Jimmy. Yeah, we knew it would. And Karahani always wild on the feet. He's not disappointing here. Knee by Quatch. You're a Colin Oyama fighter, you know how to throw the knee. He began with just six victories in his opening 15 fights. Since then, he's won 11 of 12 and a nice right hand. Head kick, block, body kick, answering back by Quach. Flying knee! Now, Quach's weakness is he tends to exchange when he, stood, he shouldn't. He's very aggressive, but in his early fights, he took a lot of damage trading with guys. So aggressive, he leaves himself very, very open. And someone like Karahani is going to take advantage of that. This is where he's best, on top, using that wrestling, taking the energy out of Karahania. Two big knees into the thigh of Karahania. Quach his only loss over his last dozen fights. We did that, Affliction 2. Close decision versus a good Kansas City fighter, L.C. Davis. And he took that fight on very short notice and gassed out late in the fight. If he had a lot, had energy, might have uh, pulled that fight out, Sean. Look at those clever punches there from Karahani. Well, they're clever, but they're not as good as those hey, knees. Those knees right to the thigh, here. those take a lot of energy out of you. Stand back up, your thigh just doesn't work anymore. This fight goes into the third round, and I'm not saying that it will. That's when Karahani will fill all of those blows to his thigh by watch. Nice right hand, then the answer back from Karahani. Bow just standing up a little too straight here. Oh, good knee by Karahani. Sean, we're here at Bellator Fighting Championships. I'm with Jeremy Shockey and Mickey Roy. I'll start with you, Jeremy, from the world champion New Orleans Saints. Can't believe I'm saying that, man. How do you like the fights tonight? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm enjoying the great time at the Hard Rock here. It's a great experience, and uh, I hope my boy Ross does a great job. He has a great work ethic, and all we can expect is him to come out and bash this guy. As a pro athlete, he's used to taking hits to the head, man. Yeah. How's it feel to know Rogers going to be stepping in there, taking the same thing right. for 15 minutes? His or his, I don't care if you're in this ring or at 3 o'clock. Bar fight, it doesn't matter. Well, I want, I want to see Rods, and, and I'm, he has a great, great, great background. And Marshall, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to see this guy really take him down. And, and Mickey knows more than I do. And Mickey's a great guy, and he'll, he'll tell you exactly more than I have. But let me tell you something Rods is going to win this fight tonight. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. I'm here with Mickey Rourke. You worked with uh, Roger Huerta on Tekken. How does it feel to know he's
he's coming into the fight, a little bit of nerves that he's coming out now? Uh, you know, I think, like, Roger's got his head on really good, you know. I don't know if he, where his head was at the last fight he had, you know. Uh, I think with Roger, Roger's got to stay within his game. He, uh, Roger's biggest asset is that he's a smart fighter. Uh, he's a conditioned freak. He's going to... There, he's going to be in shape. Uh, he's going to be focused. He's good standing up. He's good on the ground. Uh, Roger reminds me of Roberto Duran. That's why I love him, man. No. With the white trim, Joe Warren in the black trunks with the yellow trim. Jason Herzog is the referee, and a big takedown from Joe Warren. Uh, no shock there. Warren going straight in for the takedown. He always says in the interviews, oh, my striking's getting better. I want to bang. I don't buy it at all. He wants that takedown. He wants to be on top. Carl Honey comfortable on oh, his back. Oh, go for the knee bar. Now for the heel hook. Hammer fist by Karahani, and he is a BJJ brown belt. Going for that heel hook. That is tight. Looking to finish quickly, Warren, with that heel hook. Now Here's Warren, round number one. Warren's got to turn. He's got to turn his body to straighten that leg out. He can't stay in this position. I don't know if he knows how to get out of this position. Karahani cranking on that. Warren trying to defend. You know, Warren gets out of submissions usually by toughing it out. You cannot tough out of a heel hook. It's a very dangerous position. Warren gets to his feet. Escape that submission attempt by Korahani. Good job stepping over. You just can't stay there on your butt. He's a knockout walking. artist. You, know, you wouldn't think that from watching his performance against Bob Quatch, but he has an excellent ground game, beautiful jiu-jitsu training with the guys at Millennium. Going for the spinning arm bar. Warren cleverly stepping over and out. And trying to get that umoplata in. Warren do a good job of moving out of these positions. He's not staying static like he did against Eric Marriott. Karahani looking so comfortable fighting on his back. This is the left hand from the bottom by Karahani. The head. Working with his right hand. Another thing about Joe Warren is that he's very busy with his ground and pound. Was not warned a single time, although he was on the ground for 15 minutes against Eric Marriott. Good leg kick by Karahani and the shoot and the takedown by Warren off the single leg. And every time you see a leg kick, you're going to see a takedown attempt by Joe Warren. Right hand by Warren. About the takedowns of Joe Warren, aggressive, dynamic, getting this fight to the mat. Georgie Karahani doing everything he could from his back to try and finish this fight. But Joe Warren not only landing good ground and pound, but very mobile, a lot more active than we saw him against Eric Marriott, spinning out of a lot of submissions. You could tell he's been working on his defense, but aggressive with his takedown, grinding out that first round. Had to give it to him 10-9. Top doing damage. I got to give it 10 9 to Joe Warren. Karahanian actually shooting for a double leg. Couldn't find it. Now, now Karahanian has a great guillotine. Has a lot of confidence in the guillotine. Huge guillotine attempt, and then Warren pulls his head free. Man, Joe Warren. <laughs> He's just a tough dude. He's just going to try and muscle his way out of every submission, and that time it worked. Clever by Karahani, and Warren was trying to pick him up for a slam, and Karahani immediately went for the guillotine. Well, Karahani, you know, his two submissions that he likes the most, a triangle and guillotine, so every position he can, he's going to go for that guillotine choke, Sean. Trying to lock up a Kimura now. Oh, beautiful throw by Joe Warren. Yes, he is a 2006 record Roman wrestling world champion. Now, that's what we call a five-point throw in wrestling. Beautiful arc. That can win a match for you. The Karahani is still spinning for that Kimura, but if he can't control the hips of Warren, he's got a lot of trouble getting that. It's early days in this fight, Jimmy, but already Joe Warren looks much improved over his quarterfinal round unanimous decision win versus Eric Merrick. He looks a lot more mobile. Somersaulting out by Karahanian. Karahanian closes guard. You know, you get that. Oh, going for the armbar. He's got that tapped off. Warren may be caught. He's in trouble. Karahanian looking to finish him with round number two. His hips are very tight. I don't think Joe, Joe Warren's got to get out of this right now, and he does. Another submission escape by Joe Warren. Jimmy, I was looking right into his eyes. We're maybe 10 feet away. There was a real look of pain on the face of Joel Warren. Pain and panic. And it looks like he was ready to tap, but man, just powers his way out again. And this is so disheartening if you're Georgie Karahani to get that close and have to start all over again. You see those knees. Karahani and talking to referee Jason Herzog. I think he, he, he was complaining got kneed. And you're not allowed to knee the spine all the way in the back. I think a couple of those landed on the spine, but... Man, the tenacity of Joe Warren just not giving Carl Honey in any space. Well, I, I, you really have to wonder if Joe Warren's arm is okay after that arm bar. That was straight. That was very tight, Sean. Warren had the back of Carl Honey and never went for
for a rear naked. Now, you saw right there, Joe Warren. Kahanian, of course, came back and got this close of knockout. I think he's hoping that happens again. Karahani keeping his cool, still looking for a submission. Those escapes. Uh, they're just guts. A lot of them are just guts, power, and will. And that's the kind of thing you can't teach. Joe Warren may one day learn the technical way to get out of submissions, but you know, having guts is more important. That's something you're kind of it comes from you from final round. Flying knee by Jordan Karahani. And you see Warren just driving his opponent down. Karahani and closes his guard. Warren to the thighs. Another takedown by Warren. Is the story of this fight, Jimmy, the takedowns by Joe Warren or the submission attempts by Georgie Karahani? I think they're the takedowns and ground and pound of Joe Warren so far. And Warren getting the back of Karahani. Throwing punches, not going for a rear naked. No, he's not just taking him down. He's very active with his ground and pound. He stays busy. Very good with those knees as well, to the thigh, to the body. Shirko Hani and here in this third round is feeling those strikes. Found it translates so well to MMA for Joe Warren. Looking for the double leg, you see Karahani with the wide face. Now Karahani, giant guillotine, so tight. Look at the finish. Final minute of this fight. Warren trying to slam his way out. Blood pouring out of the nose of Joe Warren onto the back of Georgie Karahani. That is locked tight. Joe Warren is still with it, manages to pull his head out. Unbelievable. Huge ovation from our crowd here in Monroe, Louisiana. Referee Jason Herzog was taking a really close look there, Jimmy. Matt, Joe Warren is right in front of us. The look of intensity in his eyes. He wants this fight, Sean. He just will not be denied against Jose Karahani. Dying seconds of this fight. No. That escape might have been the seal on this fight. Only 15 seconds left. Karahani looking for another guillotine attempt. Could not find it. Knee by Karahani. Looking for a head kick knockout. Flying knee. The bell the end of a tremendous fight. That is exactly the fight Joe Warren wanted. Nothing but rustling on the ground. Beautiful job. Take a look at some of the action from that. Warren always going for the takedown, always moving forward. Beautiful slam, taken down with emphasis here. And then Georgie at the end chasing down Warren, lands that knee, bang, right on the forehead. I think that's the shot that opened up the cut. D7, all for the winner by unanimous decision. And now a finalist in the Bellator Tournament, featherweight division, Joe Warren.